Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back for the review of Black Ink Crew Chicago. This is season five, episode 17, The Steve Harvey Show. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, please go ahead and do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the little notification button so you know whenever I upload new content. Come on now, you know you wanna know anyway. Don't even have to worry about checking back. Your notification button, I'll let you know. Um, let you know off top, this episode was boring as hell. I got a little bit of a review together for you. It's hot in this room, so I'm going to try to get through this as quick as I can. And I still got to record the pose review. I got my notes and everything together for that. So we just going to get right into this boring, boring ass review. Um, no, this review is not going to be long at all. I promise you, but it is going to be at least 10 minutes long. So a bitch can get her watch time hours in. Okay. I'm still trying to work up to a check. Y'all already know. But um, let's get into this fucking review. So it starts off, um, Ford comes to see Ryan at his shop. Ryan tells him that Steve Harvey actually reached out to him, or some of Steve Harvey's people, I'm sure, reached out to him because they seen the episode was a couple of couple of episodes ago when they were in, it was either Jamaica, Puerto Rico, there was some island tropical ass place. That's when Ford was going through his depression and there was a real there was a part in it, a real part, where um Ford was thinking about suicide. He was having suicidal thoughts, and Ryan stepped in and was consoling him was crying with him telling him anytime you feel like being alone I'm not gonna leave you alone I'm gonna be your brother I'm there for you I love you and so that moment actually reached out to a lot of people and so from that Steve Harvey recognized that and he wants them to come on the show to talk about their experience now at first at first for is kind of like I don't know because just I've moved past that and thinking about that takes me back to a really dark place and so I really don't want to go back to that place but Ryan is telling him, like, look, this could be an opportunity for you to speak out about what you went through. You never know. You could open up the 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 door for the next brown skin boy just like you that's going through something that's afraid to say something. And that's the problem with a lot of our black men in general. They're afraid to express their feelings. They're afraid to say how they really feel out of fear of, of it making them look weak or making them look like punks. I mean, they, they don't, especially to women, you don't you don't want to express your feelings necessarily if you do you do it the wrong way but that's a whole nother rabbit hole i'm not even finna get down but anyways ryan does talk him into doing it well not even really talks him into doing it you know he lets him know that this experience was something for you that could help the next person pay it for it, my nigga pay it for it and so ryan is giddy he like a little kid he's like nigga this is steve harvey nigga steve harvey i don't even blame him. i'd be the same way nigga this is steve harvey steve harvey i'd like a job Holla at your girl, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, yeah, so they're excited about it. They finna go see uh, Steve Harvey and do their little interview or whatever that they do with him. We'll get to that in a minute. So Van, Four, and Don, right? They over there in Hood 9 Mag, right? They talking about what happened at the convention because Don wasn't there. Don, you know, he was back at the shop holding shit down with his baby and uh, Bella was there with her baby. And so they're, you know, Van and Four are telling Don about how Lily got into a fight again with Adriana and with Junior and basically regardless of what happened Lily was wrong and Lily should not have engaged in it as they're talking Lily walks in like ain't shit happened she like hey y'all hey how you doing you know hey woof the woof yada yada and so Donna's like hey so you know you know, holler at me I heard something happened at the convention what happened and she's like well no basically homegirl tried to sneak me so I threw her down on the ground and I kicked her and that's what happened and Don is like, well, you know, the problem that I have is that your name is constantly being brought up and shit. Like, where anything that happens, your name is in the middle of it. She's like, basically, it's not my fault. Like, she threw water at me. She pulled my hair first, so I had a right to defend myself. That you are correct about. But what made the whole situation pop off is when you went over there now watching it on tv it looked like she was about two three booths down from you even if you could hear everything that she was saying it don't fucking matter the whole point of growth is for you to be able to look past that bullshit now that's something i have to remind myself about on a constant basis there are times when people get out of line with me and i just want to go over there and i want to choke shit out of them but you can't do that that's a part of growth that's when you like oh whoa consequences i could go to jail i could lose my job you know what I'm 
I'm saying? So you don't do shit like that. But you decided to get up, go over there, get in her face, and say, y'all need to move around with this yada, yada, yada. Knowing that she already don't like you, knowing that she was drunk, knowing that her ego is big as your ego, and ain't now one of y'all bitches backing down, right? So as they're talking, Ryan walks in, and she's telling Ryan off the jump, it wasn't my fault, blah, 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 blah. Ryan like, see, hold on. You already getting defensive. I ain't even said nothing yet. But wait, hold on. Let me tell you. So I get an email from the head nigga in charge of the convention. And guess what? Nine Mag is banned from doing the next few conventions. Nigga. Now, he didn't say how many conventions because he said in the next breath, like, this next, like, I can't do the next convention. So, I don't know if it was just the next convention, the next couple of conventions, ban forever. I don't know. But either way it go, Lily still can't see where she fucked up in this. She still can't see where she wrong in this. And it's like, Lily, you are wrong regardless of what they did. And I love what Ryan said. Ryan said, it don't give a, I don't give a fuck what Lily or Junior, even if they was in the wrong, this about about your money this about business if you had a problem you could have said bitch meet me outside that's what i'm talking about bitch you trying to get your bag in there you trying to get your goddamn paper you ain't got time to be rolling around on the ground with these hoes like this and then the whole reason why niggas didn't want you to come back in the shop was for this very reason so then her and van's kind of start going out of bed. It's like, look, the point of the matter is you always in some shit. You really not recognizing now where the fuck you went wrong in this. So guess what? We got a problem. Lily, like, look here. Ain't nobody going to tell me when I'm going to leave this shop. I'm going to leave on my terms when I want to leave and that's it. They're like, oh, really? Well, you can't work up in here no more. She like, oh, Ryan, for real, you, you, you feeling this too? Yeah. Ryan like, yep. Yeah deuces and it's about goddamn time because i forgot i left out a part van was like we hear you america we hear you well it's about goddamn time school ball we done said that how many times you need to let lily ass go she bringing down your motherfucking property value now this bitch getting you kicked out of conventions now what you gonna do you gonna have to sit back and look at everybody else's instagram posts when they're at the convention next year because you don't let this bitch fuck up the bag but hopefully that's the end of the problems that y'all gonna have with that oh but it's nine mag baby more drama is to come trust me y'all this next part was boring as hell so i'm just gonna fly right through the shit nick and charmaine having dinner charmaine tells nick she think about going back to nine mag um, Nick don't want Charmaine to go back to 9Mag. He tell her if you do it, it's going to be a problem. Later on, she gets off of work. She goes back to the house. The whole damn apartment is empty. She's all in disarray. Oh, my God, what the fuck happened? She calls her dad. Daddy, this nigga done took everything out the house. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. She, I just sound like something y'all going to have to work out. Okay, daddy, he coming through the door right now. Let me call you back. Neek, what's up? What happened? Where you going? You know how she cried. He pretend like he mad, which come to find out. He's like, boo, ha, ha, ha. He busted out laughing. That's how you can tell the shit was fake because his laugh was fake. The whole scene was goddamn fake. What had happened was this nigga took it upon himself to not get her consent and not talk with her about shit and make his own decision to upgrade their apartment to a, to a three-bedroom house now. I mean, to a three-bedroom apartment. So they're moving into a three bedroom and oh by the way he's okay with her going and working back at nine mag boom that was the end of they scene lily and latifah this one it was a boring ass scene too they at the bar doing what they doing best drinking i bet their liver is fucked up Li um bella says she don't want to work at the shop if lily ain't there bella shut up girl just stop it Lily tells her she got bigger issues to worry about. Back in 2016, she had a tumor on her right ovary, ended up having to get surgery where they ended up actually having to remove her entire right ovary and um, fallopian tube. Now she has to go back to another doctor's appointment. She wants to get a checkup. She's afraid that she'll never be able to have kids. This bitch says she want to have 10 kids. What? But you know what? I actually, I used to work with a female that got 10 kids. And when I tell you, bitch still looks like a motherfucking whole goddamn snack. Ten kids. I ain't gonna tell you her name because she probably don't want her name out there like that. But girl, with ten kids, 
one of the finest bitches I know, girl. I'm, yes, you, girl. Anyways, long story short from that, um, she's afraid to go to the doctor's appointment by herself. Bella ends up going with her to the doctor's appointment while they're doing the exam. The doctor ends up seeing another cyst on her um, ovary, that she, her remaining ovary, her left one. It's about two centimeters long. She tells her that you have a couple of options, and it looks like it's pretty serious. So Lily doesn't want anybody in the room. She kicks everybody out the room while her and the doctor talk about what's going on. We don't know what goes on. Boom. That was the end of Lily's scene. Y'all, April Jones, April Jones, April Jones. Ryan meets up with April Jones and goes and has drinks. Um, this scene was pretty boring as hell. She was throwing that pussy at him. Excuse my language. Hate to be so graphic, but that's exactly what she was doing. He was asking her. He was like, oh, pump your brakes. You know, what happened with you and Fizz? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know something popping with you and Fizz. And I know that's your baby daddy homeboy and all of that. So, like, you know what I'm saying? And she was just like, you know, me and Fizz are just friends. He's helped me out with money. He's been there for me when I was depressed. He's helped me with my kids before. And him and my baby daddy are not friends. They're just business partners. It's a big-ass difference. Regardless of the fact, who cares? I mean, live your best single life, girl. All I got to take, wrap it up. That's it. Wrap it up. And Ryan, as for you, don't do it. Don't do it. And ain't, ain't nothing against her. It's just she not somebody I see you rocking with like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Oh, I did leave out. Ryan did sneak that in. He was like, so what's up with tonight? We kicking it tonight or what? She was like, hell yeah, we kicking it tonight. It's whatever. Cole. They got it in. I'm just saying, I don't know that for a fact. I'm just saying, I was just reading between the lines and the cracks and the crevices and all that and what are them lines I read between it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Move right along. Ryan and Ford in L.A., and Ford trying to be messy on the cool. He was like, hey, you know, Cat got a shop out here. You know what I'm saying? When the last time you had that Cat? No, good guys and well, that nigga ain't talked to Cat in a minute. So he said, since everything went down, you know, I ain't hollered at her. You know what I'm saying? That shit was almost three years ago. You know, and Ryan finally recognizes, or at least he says, he acknowledges where he went wrong and where he fucked up in his relationship with Rachel because at first he was blaming everybody else for the shit coming out. No, nigga, you shouldn't have did it in the first place. I'm just saying, and um, he like, you know what I'm saying, that was three years ago, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I might go holler at it, yeah, I might go holler at it, Ryan, I'm going to say like I told you about that bitch April, don't do it, Rachel going to fuck you up for show show, you remember what she said on the last couple of episodes, it don't matter if I beat his ass at home, y'all ain't going to know it. That was cold, but she be going upside your goddamn head, and she ain't got no problem going upside your goddamn head. Whether y'all together or not, nigga, don't do it, Ryan. Don't do it. Girl, so Ryan and Four on their way to the Steve Harvey show. Ryan all up in there with his man bun and his looking like an old British banker looking like Zaddy Shark. Zaddy Shark. Zaddy. He was looking good with the little man by Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, you're so stupid. You're so stupid, Ryan. You just made me feel so comfortable. I'm just, <laughs> you made me feel so comfortable. Anyway, Ford looked like he was dressed to go to child support court. He looked... <sighs> niggas. Niggas. Lord, I love him. I love you, black man. I love you. But boy, that nigga was dressed like first day of school. He was dressed like he going to, he going to church. On, you know how hood niggas get dressed for church. They feel like either they, if they got a sweater and some starch shit, they fresh to death, nigga. Or they got a, a little button down and some slacks. Fresh to death, nigga. So, they, you know, they getting ready to go on the Steve Harvey show or whatever. And so, they in the back talking. I love Ryan and Ford's relationship because they are not afraid to express their love for each other like brothers. And Ryan is like, I know Ford's telling him, like, I just want to thank you for being there for me. Hold on. Battery want to be tripping. 
he said, I just want to thank you for being there for me. Like you, you held it down for me and, and, and you, you're more than a friend. You know, you like my brother to me. And of course, Ryan is like, you know, I don't have no brother. So the relationship that I have with you and Don is real. And I love y'all. No, he didn't say Van. I'm being messy. I'm reaching. I'm being petty. Let me shut up. But it was cute. It was real cute. Um, and that was basically the end of the episode right there. Um, yeah, it was kind of boring. Was it watchworthy? No. Because I just summed it up for you in what? 18 minutes or less, baby. Let me know what you think about this review. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Aha, look.